Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. So today I wanted to share a quick, um, I guess, tutorial on how I made this um, journal out of um, junk mail envelopes. And I showed this a little while back on Instagram and I know many of you wanted to see a little bit more um, about it. So I'm just going to show you how I put this together. So um, to get started, I guess I'll, I'll let you know what you guys need to, to do the base. So the actual cover itself. Um, and for the inside pages, I have another um, how to tutorial on my channel. I had shown you this sort of torn pages journal before. I'll link the vi video below. And then I have a tutorial showing you how I put, uh, you know, one like this together with just the plain pages. So I will link that below because it's very similar what I did with the pages in here. I made it mostly for like the squishy appeal and the sound, if you can hear it. And um, it has been machine stitched. So I did add enough pages, um, you know, to kind of make a nice um, fluffy journal but um, also not so many that I couldn't put it through the machine, which I thought was just perfect. So that's your cover there. So what you will need is two of your junk mail envelopes. Um, I like the ones with the windows because it's just so neat to have like, you know, a large pocket uh, on the front and then a large pocket on the back. Now I also have another video or how to video on my channel showing you how I made some um, smaller envelope, um, kind of like little flips and, you know, folios, that kind of stuff. Um, I'll link those below if you're interested. So you'll need the two envelopes. You'll also need, um, some sort of fabric for the spine. Now you don't need fabric for the spine, but I like it for the outside. Just, it just makes it nicer. And I think it holds the pages in better. So I just used one strip for the outside and then you know, whatever papers you want to use to cover your envelopes. So let me just get stuff going here to get started. So I just pulled out some papers that I had, um, you know, leftover bits from projects as well. I have some tinier kind of cut out pieces from other projects. And if I need to, I'll get some more from my little bin of scraps. So let me just first start by deciding which uh, envelopes I want to use. So for this one here, I have one of the windows at the bottom. And then in the back, I decided to put the window facing the inside cover um, and the windows at the top. And so of course the back is the, the solid part. So I'm thinking just from looking at these here that I want to have this for my back page. And I want this one to be my front page because of the window at the bottom. You can see that there. Now, the technique I'm going to show you is not my idea. This one I saw Stephanie from My Porch Prints. She did some envelopes like this before. And I just loved it so much, you guys. I thought, I can't believe I hadn't thought about that because my favorite thing to do is to tear paper up. And this is basically what you do mostly with this project. So here I'm just kind of eyeballing, you know, approximately where um, the end of my envelope is, because what I want to do is just make a cut um, on that spot. And like I said, I'm just kind of using, you know, the tearing kind of style. So maybe what I'll do, because I'm, I think this is sort of facing the wrong way for me when I started to kind of put that together. So maybe what I'll do is I'll start at the top. And this is what happens, my friends. I kind of play around with my, my papers until I decide what I want to put and where. And here I'm just cutting the edges off of my paper. Um, so I'm also going to leave a link below because I know a lot of you ask me about my printer and um you know what paper i use and how come it just always looks so nice and and bright and clear and so i'll leave a link below to that because um i know some of you might be interested and um someone actually left um a comment recently about 
you know how expensive it is to use digitals and I have to say that if you don't have a a digital um, sorry not digital if you don't have a um, an ink program like I actually have an ink um, subscription so I get my ink coming to me um, every time basically I need it and it's quite inexpensive that way because I do use a lot of digitals I love digitals and so for me um, you know this is something that I use often and that uh, that saves me a lot of money when it comes to that so here you can see just um, how I'm starting to put that together um, I will just quickly glue these on and I'm just going to keep doing this so I'm not sure if I'll keep chatting or I'll just forward it and put some some music to it we will see how it goes I'm also trying to um, you know kind of craft and make the videos um, in between my kids kind of not doing too much stuff because it gets quite noisy with the kids around nowadays right so and I mean I love the fact that we get to be home and I get to craft a little more without having to worry about you know leaving the house and, and doing a lot of things so that's been really nice as well Okay, so this was the um, the first um, page, basically. So this is what this will look like, right? So we'll flip that over. That's our page. Maybe I'll cover something else a little bit there because I kind of liked what I did here a little bit better. But again, this is just to show you guys what I was doing. I'll do the same to both sides. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'll keep the camera rolling or if I'll just come back and show you what I've done when I'm finished. Um, thinking maybe for the top for the part here I'll I'll kind of do a full page because I sort of have it so I might as well right and I could have brought out my my paper trimmer but I just I don't know this feels fine this is fine my friends okay so again I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want my cut to be and as you can see I'm sort of tearing with my my um ruler i don't really want this to be too perfect and i also don't need to go too much to that edge because i'll be covering that up but i'll just kind of do this so then we've got this here i'm trying to kind of put the edge more towards the left because i will be covering this kind of center um, i'm going to try and put a little more um, just another other piece of fabric or um, some paper to just give it a little bit more support and here I'm just cutting it out again so you can see how that's just going to cover that fully I'm considering and I think I am going to consider leaving pockets there maybe no I have the big pocket in the front so no I'm just going to cover this one up and again it'll just be super easy hopefully you guys are enjoying um, everyone's videos i know we are all kind of excited that we can post a little bit more but also um as for myself it's a little bit um difficult because with um my kids at home of course they've got their own things that they're doing and you know noise is now going to be probably part of most of our filming so bear with us my friends for those of us that have kids at home and are navigating through the um, stay at home situations and you know now that I'm, I'm kind of chatting with you guys and 
I'm just going to double check that I have been filming. And I think I am, there we go. Okay, so you see now the front and back is kind of done here. And then I can do the same for this side. Um, I'm thinking, because I have such, you know, additional leftover bits and, and bobs here and there. I'm thinking that I will put a big piece at the bottom, which is this one. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna cut off this edge. So I guess an update on what's going on on my end. I am in Canada, as I have mentioned many times, I'm in Ontario. And we've had um, very similar situations as what a lot of you have been experiencing with shortages of, of supplies because people are taking a lot more than normal. And I mean, that's understandable, right? Not all of us prepare and, and know what um, what's going to happen. So some of us, you know, maybe don't have enough at home and we have a few kids and we know that, um, you know, we may need to have a few supplies, etc., for them. But I have to say, this is what I'm finding. Our, our grocery stores have, um, have been saying that um, there is no shortage of foods, which is excellent. We know we have food. It's it's there. It's just um, not all available when you show up to the store, which again makes sense, right? So um, you show up and you do have sort of limited um, amounts of things that you can you can purchase, which is great because I know that leaves enough for others that need it. Um, but I think what's happening is they're kind of saying, you know, try not to go out as much, try to maybe order your groceries for pickup. Yes, I am in one of those areas that I can certainly do that. I've been doing that for a while and it was a lot easier um, to do it before. Um, you know, I would place my order for my groceries, um, let's say today, and I could pick them up tomorrow. That's not what's happening now. What's happening now is depending, depending on where you are, you can um, get your groceries uh, sent to you, or sorry, you can pick up your groceries, but it takes about, hmm, it depends on the location. Like I said, I know for my sister, it's about a week to actually pick up her order. That's how long the um, pickup is. And um, for myself right now, it's still at about uh, three days. So if I were to order something today, um, for pickup. I would not be able to pick it up until I guess three days from now. So I mean it's still great you know I kind of plan ahead. I, I make sure that I order what I think we might need for those days and then take into consideration that I won't be able to place an order for a few more days until that time kind of lapses. But you know I think that's what's happening. People are just um, you know panicking that placing an order or getting pickup sorry getting delivery is also taking a little long um you know we keep being asked to try to avoid being out in public so a lot of us are trying to do that but then it's a little hard when you know you're trying to avoid um being out and you can't really get the things you need when you need them so i don't know it's it's been a learning experience for sure um, and I mean I'm grateful that we can pick up our groceries that we can order our groceries online I'm sure not everyone has that luxury so I'm quite grateful for that um, but for me for sure I've been doing this for a little while because I do have some chronic pain issues that kind of limit my mobility sometimes and so that's been quite helpful to me um, and to our household when I've been able to do that. Now, I think I'm just going to add a piece here because I don't like how square that's looking. So anyways, that's, that's kind of on that end. Um, I think so far things have been um, kind of moving a little bit slower, which is great. People are really listening to not necessarily being out all the time and taking it easy and um uh you know kind of trying to not um put yourself out there if you don't need to be out there so 
that's been working out great. Um, our kids are actually out of school. So this happened last week that we were told that our kids would be off school until, I guess for three weeks. So we still have two weeks to go. I, I personally don't think that they're going back right now anytime soon, but that's just me thinking. And um, it's been great, you know, um, having them home and um, and just uh, knowing that a li every little bit helps, right? Every little bit of trying to keep yourself from spreading or getting what's uh, the the virus right now is is sort of the important thing. I think we all know that. Um, the system is just strained with um, with so many people being ill and so leaving that space for those that really need it by trying to avoid getting sick is probably the best thing that they could have suggested for us to do. So anyways, enough about that. Let's talk happy talk. Okay, so I hope you've seen, and here I'm just going to add a whatever piece I have that I think is going to go. So um, what I'm liking about this as well is that it kind of looks really nicely coordinated. You know what I just did? Yeah, that's fine. It looks really nicely coordinated because I used the s similar pieces that I had left over. And as you saw, I used a lot of pieces that were kind of in my little, you know, to use pile from things that I had previously used. So anyway, so that's how that's looking. The next step is going to be adding the fabric spine and I think it's looking really good. So see, that would be my front page, which I can still decorate, embellish, do more things. I'm not finished. I'm just showing you the sort of the base pages. And then this will be the back page with the pocket. And then we've got the back back. So I'm liking how that's turning out. Okay. So I'm, I don't want to confuse myself. I'm using this piece of fabric. It's not, it's actually not. No, I think I might have to use another one. It's not as tall as I would have liked because I really do want to cover most of the the envelope with it. And where are my fabric? I have fabric scissors, my friends. I do. So anyways, I was saying a, a lighter note, a happier note. Okay. Let me just show you what I'm doing before I confuse you. So front page, back page. And what I'm doing is I'm flipping them like this, okay? so that I have my front page and the back of my back page because what I want to do is add my fabric to that section as you can see okay now you can um, sew this on it's up to you um, but for now I'm just going to glue it on because that works well for me and as you see I'm just using my Aileen's tacky glue that works well for now I'll probably be stitching it later I'm thinking I will um, but for now I'm just kind of liking how this is looking and it's it's kind of keeps it on loving that i think i need to cover that there too okay so now i'm just going to add glue to this side of the wait yes this side and um if you want to leave yourself a little gap between envelopes it's probably a good idea oh maybe i was out of frame there apologies my friends if i was um just because you might want to add um you know a lot of paper in there and if you do it's probably best that you check how that's going to get on there let's see let's do this again don't do what I do do this part now see I'm leaving a little gap in the center because this way when if you want to add your pages you've got a little space to add your pages to it okay so that's looking good um, what I was going to say is I have been, oh, I like a lot of books. I have been watching a lot of um, shows that are what I like to call happy shows. And that's because I just, I, you know, there's just so much sadness going on and, and stressful things. So um, I've been watching a lot of music shows like um, American Idol and um wait do we want to add more fabric sorry my friends i'm just um yeah i think i want to add fabric on the center too i had done um for this one i had just added paper which i kind of like 
um, but I'm really liking the fabric so you know what I'm just gonna add more fabric to the center um, yeah do we what do you guys think somebody say something uh, yeah I think I'm yeah yeah I think I'm going to add more fabric so I'm just gonna cut this one not using my fabric scissors this time because it's not necessary um, so anyway so I've been watching those shows because I just you know I just like a, a little bit of happiness and something nice to hear so those have been such fun and just really nice shows to watch um, that and I think it's the voice that I'm also watching I'm trying to avoid the news because I know that that's just you know everywhere right now with the same story that keeps repeating all day long it's not breaking news anymore I just keep saying it is so I'm trying to avoid that and of course crafting and enjoying time with family and we're doing a lot of online games with my siblings and my kids and they're loving that as well okay so here you go my friends I like the um, fabric sticking out a little bit also so here's your cover or covers see how nice they look and then you could just fill them up with all the beautiful pages that you want to and I'm going to do that for this one as well it will probably go in snail mail or something I don't know we'll see if you guys want to see um, me work on these ones let me know I'm thinking this was my thought I thought about just making a kind of naked journal and adding the ephemera later and um, or kind of making it a little bit like this one where I'm adding a couple of pieces here and there like the vellum and the stickers and kind of like collaging um, but I'm not sure what do you guys think should I add something to them or leave them as they are we'll see do you guys want to see me finish this up with more pages let me know I'm working on more tutorials because I know you guys keep asking so I'm working hard to do this um, I hope you guys enjoyed the share uh, questions comments as always please leave them below and I will see you next time thanks so much for stopping by